Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here. Today we're going to be using only Assault Vest on the OU ladder. I got the scene from Dunder Guy. Big shout outs to him. We have Assault Vest Klutz Lopany because Klutz means we don't care about the Assault Vest, so we could switch to it and, you know, cripple defensive Pokemon. Uh, AV Slow King, AV Amoongus with the Stomp Enchanter for Heatran. Uh, we have Tornadus. This had Icy Wind, but I think Super Power just worked a little bit better because, like, knocking out Weavile is really big for the team, especially because Knockoff is so free. Um, Excadrill as well, and of Urshifu. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of AV or Shifu. I think Choice Band is obviously way better for the breaking power, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Uh, has not been doing too well in testing, but that's why we test. So that way, when we record, we do better. If you guys do enjoy this content, make sure you you know leave a like and subscribe. Uh, you're helping me out, obviously. And if you enjoy, feel free to leave a comment, but no pressure. No pressure. But uh, yeah. Anyway, hopefully we can get some fun games with this team. That's all I want. I just want to have a little bit of fun with this squad. And maybe win some games on the OU ladder. I uh, did I mention that you can get on my website, Pokemon.com? Yeah, the team is down below. But yeah, so I think the biggest problem with this is that like not only do I not get rocks up, but there's not a lot of breaking power on Mono Assault Vest, right? With Mono Choice Man and Choice Specs, I'm boosting my Pokemon to you know a higher a higher damage output. But with this, I don't really have much. The biggest thing I have is like Future Sight. Plus, like, one of these mons coming through. So, uh, anyway, we got our first game. We got our first game. Now, this isn't going to be too bad. I do have a ch counter to this mon. I'm very scared about this Pokemon. I'm very, very scared about this Pokemon. However, Tornadus kind of beats everything 1v1. I'm going to knock off immediately. It kind of beats everything, right? I have Sewer Power. Uh, Scarf Stone Edge cannot knock me out, which my opponent ends up being, which is completely fine. I'll make the Lopany play right now. As they go for knockoff and, and crit me immediately. That's great, but I KO them back. So y'all gotta leave a like for the Ice Beam KO at least, right? Y'all gotta leave a like for that, because that, that was sick, in my opinion. Heatran comes out. I'm assuming you are Scarf. Yep. Scarf confirmed. Well, that's awesome. Uh, my opponent has no close combat switching, so we're just gonna go for that. Rotom comes out. Mmm, I think Sloking is my play. And we just go for Future Sight. Uh, so now I know that they're more likely not Scarf. This is cool. I can go out right into a Shifu and just click Close Combat one more time. Look at that AV eating that up. Is that Specs? That did 15. <laughs> and now we can knock something out with the Close Combat plus Future Sight combo. Obviously, I am very scared of the uh, the Scarf Heatran. Oh! I don't even have to be that scared of Scarfy Trent. Because I can U-turn here as Rotom comes out. Bring out you and go for another future site. That's awesome. So if Heatran comes out, I just need a little bit of chip on it so I can beat it 1v1. This is why I want This is why, by the way, like I said, I want that earthquake on this thing. So I think I'm gonna put that. I can't put it over flamethrower though. Amoongus beats one and two. So I'm not going to throw away Amoongus. And Drill also is decent, I suppose. I think I throw away Drill, actually, and keep Torn, just because Torn is strong. Eh, maybe it's Torn. Maybe it's actually Torn, Isaac. So I at least get a little bit of future side damage off on the uh, the Heatran here. So I should be able to live. I should be able to live every uh, Urshifu. They might be thinking they guarantee KO me, but I'm pretty sure that's the Assault Vest, baby. That is the Assault Vest, baby. All right, so we're looking good. We're looking good. As long as it's not SD Rillaboom, we're good. I'm too weak to this thing to switch out. So I'm just going to go for close combat. There's a problem if they SD. They SD Darkest Lair, which means they more than likely cannot touch me. So I'm just going to Sludge Bomb. Yeah, SD Darkest Larry cannot. I, I don't know why they're Darkest Larry, but they were. And Harder Shifu just makes the most sense because I get so much out of close combat. It is Specs! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! You know, you're gonna double. Or you're gonna do something that's not gonna hurt my. Yeah, you're gonna do something that's not gonna hurt my Amoongus, so I'm gonna bring you out. Ah, 
Ah, uh, this is gonna be close. I think I win though. Because grass drain ends. Oh, that also does nothing, so. Yeah. I'm not sure why they went hard Rillaboom, but that was the one they needed to win. Because grass drain ends and I just click Earthquake now, so we're good. I knew the mom was specs, bro. 15? I right, get a little bit more chip, bro. I'm just trying to get a poison. <laughs> get out of there. How many more you got of those? I wonder how much you take, Amoongus. It's not specs? That's crazy. Whatever, man. I'm an, I'm an extra drill. <laughs> like, I won. Now, if that Pokemon had been knockoff, it might have been better. Woo! We won again with the AV. I did almost get popped by, uh, by Taranto. I thought it was specs, man. I really thought it was specs. Maybe the damage, maybe Fire Blast damage was too weak. Maybe maybe specs would have like, what, 23 or something like that? 22? If it done that much, I would have been right, but <laughs> I obviously was wrong. Oh, also, for those that do not know, Code Aim, what the hell is going on with Google? Code Aim is uh, is 30% off right now. And if you did if you did not know, if you did not know, uh, I am sponsored by G Fuel, and G Fuel is a caffeinated energy drink. So be aware of what you're obviously ordering. If you do opt to pick it up, um, 18 plus, of course. But they do have the hydration line, which I personally love, and the hydration line. It's really good, and the strawberry lemonade is really good, and the phase berry is really good as well, too. So if you guys want to pick it up, feel free to use code AIM. Like I said, it is 30% off right now. It's supporting me, and I think it's good, too. All right, so we got Rain. Uh, very weak to Zapdos, me, but I think this is possible. I'm pretty weak to you, too, actually. Uh, this should be enough for that Pokemon, and this should be enough for that Pokemon. Actually, I'm not that weak to Zapdos. The biggest threat to me is, like, Melmetal. Get a U-turn immediately. If there's Scarf, that sucks, obviously, but like, what the hell am I going to do? I'm going to go out to Lopany. And then I want to see what Mon they got into. I think it'd be Melmetal, right? But uh, Lopany is going to be a Sax for the most part. Then they're going Kingdra, which isn't too bad for me because I just bring out Sloking and not care. Yep, I eat that up. Go for a future site. If they go for a second one, uh, I just bring out my <laughs> my grass type after. We just go for foul play here because it does decent damage to Melmetal, which is more than likely coming out. Yep. Awesome. In terms of what I want to go here, I'm thinking Torn. Very good Zapdos play on my opponent's part. I'm going to knock off their item, though. Didn't know if they were specs or not, obviously. Um, I really don't think Torn is the greatest in this game, so I'm just going to go for this. Yeah, I don't think Torn is the greatest in this game, so I'm going to do that. Bring out Sloking. I can always go harder, Shifu, on Melmetal, too, so I'm going to go for Futures right now, and then I'm, I'm basically just trying to position myself to get a kill with Urshifu, because if I Surging Shrek or Urshifu and Rain isn't up, I win. Right, so like if they waste a turn now going for the uh, the roost, hey, come back. I think I'm okay. And plus, this is just getting my regenerator back on my slot. Obviously, like I said, the biggest threat is Melmetal. That Melmetal is annoying. Bro, you're wild. You're hella wild just doing that. Should I just... I'm not sure like what I do here. I think Excadrill is my play because it doesn't care about this mod. I just go for Rock Slide now, as I go Pelipper, because I think I kill it. Mm, it's going to be close. Awesome. All right, so that goes down. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we don't have to worry about a rain anymore, which means my Excadrill will wall their Zapdos later. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Uh, I still have a Lopany that's dead. <laughs> Basically dead. Wait. Um, I don't know what Dragon if Dragon is going to be Dragon Dance. I can wall this later. I think I go Lopany. And Healing Wish into Slow King. Assuming I live. Oh, nope, never mind. I was really hoping I lived that. Uh, <laughs> I think I would have. But it probably would have been close. I'm just going for Sludge Bombs here. They can weather ball to finish me off. 
they can't kill Amoongus even if they go for Hurricane, so I'm fine to go Amoongus and, and throw off one hit again because of that Assault Vest. I'm actually going to go Amoongus into back into Slow King. Back into Amoongus, back into Slow King. Back into Slow King and then right out to Excadrill. So. So now we go drill. Now that rain has been gone, we go drill. Rain has been gone. Big Bear Escuta comes out. Um, I think I gotta go Rashifu. And click Surging Strikes. And I think that if they go into Dragonite, I click Surging Strikes again into Ice Punch. So I click Surging Strikes again into Ice Punch. Because I'm trying to bait them into a false sense of security, so they go for a second DD. Come on, get greedy. Get greedy. Ah, oh, they roost it. That's unfortunate. I think I lose this thing, though. <laughs> you insane? What? 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 What type of play? You thought this mod had a generator, bro? <laughs> What the hell just happened there? And they didn't even go Zapdos after to finish me off. Whatever, man. I'm gonna use this to get regenerate. I'm up. Like, what the hell was that? Bro, unless they're like Ice Punch and nothing else. Let me get my homies back up to full real quick. Bro, let me throw off a future side too. I don't know what that was. I have zero idea what that play was. Unless there were Dragon Dance, Roost, Sub, Ice Punch. They literally, you know what that play was? That play was they skipped turns, they didn't see anything, they thought I went for Surging Strikes again, and they threw it away. That's it. That's all that play was. Legitimately all that play was. Oh my gosh, this game is going to be annoying. Alright, we're going to leave Lopany. Yo. Thank you, fam. Have fun. Alright, so I'm going to leave Lopany and give the Mew an Assault Vest. That way, it hopefully tries to taunt my Lopany or, or do something crazy like that. And then I'm going to just Ice Punch and Close Combat everything. Because if I can limit setup for Mew, then it can't do much, right? I just lose to them sh Shell Smashing with Cloyster probably, right? Facts. Alright, so they shouldn't be able to touch me. Gonna ice beam here. Hits Dragapult. <laughs> Ooh, nice little critic hit. Let's go for another one. I'm not sure what you're gonna do to me, so. You have an assault vest. I'm I'm just I'm just using low I'm just using this mod to get off damage on everything, dude. Goodbye. Tickles. <laughs> hey man, don't be making fun of my homie though, because I'm this boy coming out right now. I need the, the sucky thing is I need. <sighs> I need a Shifu for Cloister. Okay, okay, okay. How do I win this? I think I just go hard to you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I should have Rapid Spun first, but then they would have just self smashed again, right? Okay, yeah, I, I was fearing them being Scarf, but I wasn't sure. Good game. I'm for it. Ah, uh, so I should have, uh, I should have Earthquake first, rather, just to do damage. But I, I wasn't sure what the item was. I thought Life Orb, maybe. Because I've been using Life Orb Cluster. It's really good. Okay. Sun. Again. Not fun. But this mod's really good here. Is there anything here I want to put an Assault Vest on? You check this thing, even if you're Earth Power, because Future Side will echo you. Biggest start is Heatran, for sure. 
I'm really torn because it doesn't die to anything. I get to knock off immediately. Like, I'll live Specs Draco. They don't switch in very well to this Pokemon. Yum. Let's get rid of that item. Woo! So that was choice, Specs. Yep. We get to go for another knockoff here. Hopefully they U-turn out into... I mean, I don't really care who they U-turn out to. But, um... Right, I don't. I mean, I would love Heatran, obviously, but yeah. So Dragapult not having choice specs is not a threat to an assault vest team, obviously. And they have one knockoff on their team in Blaziken. I gotta be very careful about Blaziken though, because it can beat me. But if Amoongus is in versus it, I can stop Entanto. Oh, and Kyurem without an item hopefully isn't a threat. That's choice specs on that. So that should be a free slow king, I would say. And we just future sight here. That's double choice specs gone. Nice little future side off. Just gonna throw off a nice little sludge bomb here as well and hopefully beat this mon down. And then we're gonna bring out Lopany to ideally close combat. Lopany shouldn't die to anything. Thank you, Lopany. Awesome. So Lopany did not die, which is great. Dragapult comes out. I think I go or Shifu here on the on the U-turn because I gotta get my regen back on my homie so I don't lose the Venusaur. Bring you out. I could sun boost the flamethrower, but I'm gonna future sight instead because I don't want them going out to Heatran. I mean they'll go Heatran anyway, right? But yo, you're wild, bro. You're freaking wild, dude. Some lose the flamethrower O code you. Alright, we're gonna low opening now. Just gonna ice beam again, because it'll kill them. I don't want them going Heatran. I actually I do want them going Heatran. That's actually insane, because like I said, if I went for that flame, they were dead. So we get rid of that, obviously. I still have Urshifu out of range, which is good. Blaziken comes out. I don't know why, but the way they've been playing, I feel like they're just going to click SD, dude. I'm just going to click Future Sight. Yeah, like, I'm very, very, very scared of that Mon. Watch his Ice Punch. Watch his easy Ice Punch. Well, I went for a game-losing play, and it worked out for my opponent. <laughs> okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. I know how to do this. I know how to do this. I got to sack everything. Yep. By that, everything I meant that. And rapid spin with my Excadrill to be faster than Scarf Heatran. So I knock off you. I basically just spam knock off until I die. Actually, no, I'm good. I'm gonna click Hurricane. In. I need to land. I need to land. All right, all right. I got the damage I need. All right. I live a lava plume. I don't get burnt and I win here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please don't die. Don't get burnt. I win. Let's go. Don't you dare be on a balloon. Man, you are not. Your last move is, you are not Sucker Punch. I swear, if you're Spec Sucker Punch, then you deserve to win, and I'm, I'm going to take my L. If you're Spec Sucker Punch, I deserve to lose. So, they were Spec Sucker Punch! <gasps> but I lived! It's on a balloon! If this thing is flame charge. Okay. <sighs> Close combat just in case of I uh, yeah, I just took these on it. Oh my god, that game. What the hell? Bro, everything that could smash me? Really? This mod's so annoying me to fight. And he trained with grass terrain is just so frustrating. Torn doesn't need this item, so it's fine. And I get a free knock after we're torn, so it's fine too. 
I think that's bad. I get a knock here, which is good. I'm assuming they get up rocks now. We're just gonna go Lopany. I'm gonna Ice Beam. Get some beautiful damage off. I'm assuming Kartana comes out, but I go Amoongus. Yeah, I go Amoongus. I mean, yeah, I go Amoongus here. That's Banded. Heatran's a good switch now. Landers is low. Oh, they go out to the Pokemon that can beat me 1v1. Alright. I mean, we can. Tr I can try and beat this thing, right? As long as I get a nice little poison off on it, I can beat it, I think. Mmm. I'm gonna go he Archivo. I'm gonna U-turn here because I'm not sure the damage calc and I don't want to calc it either. Like, I, I... I don't want to not kill and then lose to a million Pokemon, you know? So I'm just gonna U-turn. When you don't know something, you U-turn. And I guess I bring out Amoongus. Alright, so I'm a foul play here. Lanner's died. Dead awesome. So Lanner's died. Obviously Heatran gets to come out and, and, and scare the hell out of me. But I get free close combats now. I like you because you're faster than Kartana. And you have Heat Wave to knock it out. And you're better than Rillaboom. And I get to Rapid Spin in this game too. I think I go Lopany and sack it. Bring out you and click CC now. Because your CC switch and died. I would not mind you going out into Rillaboom either. You give me a little bit of recovery. And the cool thing is... If I Sludge Bomb on Rillaboom... Aw, uh, they keep clicking that. Stop it. It's alright. Next time that happens, I'm good. I want to say Slow King doesn't do much as a nature power there, which I'm okay with. Just Future Sight for a little bit of chip. So this should be a close combat kill. This should be a CC kill now. I think I'll Magnazone. I think they're going to give me Zone. They can't give me Rillaboom because then they... They struggle revenge killing it, so it should be zone. Yep. Peace. Smart strike here? Mmm. Oh, you're not banded. Okay. Shoot, uh, this makes it rough, because I don't think, I don't think you die, that's 61, perfect, good play on my opponent's part, I think our sheep still lives though, so I'm going to go into it, even if you're like at no HP, I'm making this play. Don't. Good. So I get a close. I get a close combat kill now. On something, it should be Moltres, and if Moltres doesn't die, I get to U-turn, which is good. So I get a CC kill now. Torn still beats uh, Kartana, which is good, and maybe I can even Rapid Spin in this game. Okay, they give me a Rillaboom. So I guess that's so they can bring out uh, this demon, yeah. I'm just gonna foul play. I mean, if they get speed boost, they have speed boost, right? What can I do? Woo! Get some big damage off there! They get the attack raise, which is cool.
Ah, oh, I didn't KO. I lost. Ah, uh, good game. I thought Superpower pick up the KO, but I also didn't think they'd throw away Cartana because if Cartana died, they just lost Raw to Urshifu. <laughs> that was my bad. Um, but I, I did think Superpower. But then again, I'm timid, so why should I be thinking that? Okay, so this is a game where I really hope that I'm able to trick the Assault Vest to Toxabex, but at the same time, I can't beat Toxabex even if I trick the Assault Vest, so that should be fun. We're gonna go low opening to start. They have 1,930 points, so this will be interesting. Weavile is one of the bigger threats to me. This is an 8-bit Zekrom. Uh, I like it a lot. I'm still going to try it. Okay, this would be incredible if this happens. Like, if they just stay in here, this would be amazing. Yes! Okay, so I give him a salt vest. I'm gonna ice beam because they can't really do much and I mean I can bring out Sloking after and not really care, right? So gonna future side first. Then just throw flamethrowers. The fact that Toxapex is the mod that can just stand and do this and take this is insane. But I'm gonna ice beam here as well, just in case they go Lando. Yep. Nice. So we get Lando with the ice beam upon switching. Oh, and it died. That's amazing. Oh, and he called me Goat too. What a good guy. Alright, we're gonna sack this bad boy. I'm gonna lose to Dragonite though. Just gonna CC. We're gonna flamethrower immediately because it hits literally every mon. There we go. Torn is good. Weavals, you're good. I don't like this mon as much, so I'd rather go drill. I'd rather go drill and throw it away. Then give up Rashivu. This is cool because I get to go you now. Bring out this mod, just click flamethrower again. Like it's not a huge deal. For doing this, like I don't have to. It's less of a prediction and more so. Toxifix doesn't do much with an assault. It's annoying, but it doesn't do much with an assault vest. So I got a burn too, which actually makes this a lot easier. They bring out Dragonite. I think they just earthquake, right? Are we just? Oh, I can't knock off here. I have to hurricane. <laughs> if I knock off in a. Oh, it's that type of Dragonite. Okay. I'm in a Hurricane again because I don't want to knock off Toxapex. So it's it's uh, Spadef Dragonite. Which means my Arshifu beats it. My Arshifu is the one that's going to win this game. So I'm just going to go for no Hurricanes. Because this mod is strong. There's no point in knocking off either. Like It's not like it's leftovers. I'm not even thinking about knocking off. <sighs> that's cool. I'm going to throw off Heat Waves because if I burn Dragonite, it's the end of the world for it too. You don't do much to me. Your ice beam defog, and I get the confusion, which is cool. Bring out you and double into Slow King because it deals with Feral Thorn. Yep, and it allows me to just click Flamethrower here. I get the burn, which is what I wanted. I'm a I'm a flamethrower again because I don't want them going hard weave on an ice beam. <laughs> Three. Again, I'm not as worried about this Pokemon because I have an Amoongus, so... Why 
bring out Among Us now. Click Giga Drain. Yeah, Ferrothorn is like the, the, the most oppressive Pokemon for me. But we have this Mon, which is incredible. And we just get the Hurricane after, which is so cool. So, look how little that guy's taking. I'm gonna go Rashivo here. I'm a Surging Strikes. Then just Ice Punch after. So they throw it away. Nice. The great thing is I always get the flamethrower with this guy too. Always. Flamethrower again. I want to flamethrower again so badly. That boy just getting recovery here. I wonder if I die. I definitely died a triple axle, right? <laughs> oh no! Alright, that's game. They can't beat it. That's it. I was on for it. I just go back and forth now. Like, the knockoff doesn't actually matter. Oh boy. Ooh, okay, dude. I see you. I think you eat, though. Yeah, so that's that's fine. Like, I'm just trying to stall out some of these, because I can still, even after, like, an insane amount of luck, I can still lose this. I'm gonna go route to Slow King, just so I can get my region. <sighs> okay, I just need a little flamethrower damage. Okay. So I get the CC here, which is cool, because Tox Effects doesn't actually recover enough. I think Keldeo dies as well. Crit sucked, but I also burned him like a hundred times, so... <laughs> I'm not going to uh, say sorry though for Triple Axle only hitting twice, it's Triple Axle. At the end of the day... I think that some of these games definitely could have been won if my sloking had Earthquake as well. My friend? Are you gonna sack Keldia then go Toxabex? I think they sack Keldia then go Toxabex. Yeah, Power Whip is your last- what is your last move on this thing? Is it Power Whip? I'm trying to figure out the uh, the angle of this because I think I go Slow King again. Actually, I Giga Drain. And then I bring out you and I click close combat and I get a kill. There should be a kill now. I mean, they give me Ferrothorn and they lose, so they can't give me Ferrothorn. 
The enemy talks about it, and I think... I think they lose too, because this does too much, yeah. I think that's it, right? Because something is forced to die here. Oh, they gave me picks, awesome. Ain't that a win? If I just go slow king and sack it? <laughs> and then click close combat? Don't I just win? I think so. Yeah, it's, okay, it's definitely a win now. Just foul play and then CC. I guess. I guess. GG. I don't mind me, I, I guess so. I was just trying to kill everything. I'm counting that D Knight. I think if you bring in Mons and I click moves, I will eventually get secondary. Well, did you see how I said secondary? But back to back burns was crazy. I I, I know, I, I know. I, I I was playing. <laughs> I, I was like I, I was I was your opponent. But yeah, anyway, we took their points. <laughs> that, that, that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's it. That's just what happens, bro. Heat wave always burns. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, initially, at least on uh, Tox effects, I was going to go for flamethrowers to eventually burn it. Uh, on Subcombine Keldeo, I don't. I mean, if that thing dodges hurricanes and I guess beats. Does that be future type? Plus, there's no way it beats AV Amoongus. Plus that, that's the Dodger thing. But I guess between the combination of that plus Dragonite it would be insane for sure. But I was at least able to uh, get D Knight for the. Uh, I, I was I was at least able to get D Knight with the Ice Punch, so I'm glad that worked out for me. But yeah, I got I got so many burns in that game. Whatever, man. I'm playing Pokemon at the end of the day. Hope y'all enjoy. It. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.